G'day guys, I'm Ali. Welcome to my channel. So I've really been looking forward to doing this video. So within my friends group, I'm known as being very tight with money. So today I wanted to share 10 tips with how Dave and I save money with a newborn baby. Number one, we bought a lot of things secondhand from Facebook, or you could do Gumtree. I'm not sure what other online selling sites there are in your country, but I totally recommend it. So we bought a lot from Facebook. One of the deals that was really great was we bought a cot and a change table for 300 bucks. So they were Tasman Eco, so they were worth well over a thousand dollars. They were in excellent condition and the lady just wanted to get rid of them. And when we were there, she was so kind. She gave us full sheet sets for the cot, um, two winter, two summer, all these blankets she didn't want. It was just fantastic. It was really kind of her and we saved a lot of money. But not only did we buy the cot and the change table secondhand, we also brought the pram, which we saved over 50% off. It's a City Select, um, which has two seats. And we also bought the bassinet on there as well. And we're planning to, once we've finished having kids, is to resell them again and make a bit of money that way. So not only is it saving you money, but it's also helping the environment as well because it's not going to landfill. You're just reusing it and then passing it on to the next person. Number two, baby's clothes. So I managed to find an op shop here in Australia that sells a bag full, so a shopping bag full of baby's clothes for 50 cents. Yeah, 50 cents, it's pretty amazing. And because babies are barely in those clothes, especially four zeros, they're not in four zeros very long, the clothes are in fantastic condition. I must admit, I went to their op shop a fair bit when I was pregnant um, and just filled a bag. So Sophie's six months now and she's still wearing op shop clothes. Like I said, they're in fantastic condition. I didn't get anything that was just grotty or dirty or had food stains or anything like that. It's excellent condition and a great saving. So worth looking into, but also worth knowing your prices because I did look at some other op shops which had individual items for sale and they were charging $4 for Target onesies, which you could get for five or six at Target anyway. So you really need to know your prices if you're gonna buy single items, I think. Number three, cloth nappies. So I managed to get some cloth nappies secondhand from a friend, which once you strip and sterilize them, it's fine to use with your own kids. I found this really helpful, especially when Sophie was a newborn and she was going through minimum of 10 nappies a day. It was just easy to put a cloth nappy on and then change it shortly afterwards rather than going through multiple disposable nappies because sometimes when they're on the change table and you think they're finished and then they go again and you've just got the new nappy on and by having a cloth nappy you just go and wash it but even if you don't want to do it full time I mean we've never done it overnight um, and when we're going out we don't use cloth nappies but I've just found especially for around the house cloth nappies can save you a little bit of money number four use a basin to bath your baby. So initially when Sophie came home, she was tiny. She was 2.85 kilograms, so really small. And we even had a baby bath, but it wasn't worth putting all the water in there. She just wanted to have a little splash. So we actually, um, probably for about the first six weeks, I think, um, bathed her in the basin in our ensuite. It was enough water. It was a good height for uh, our backs because I had a cesarean for getting her dry and dressed afterwards. But also Sophie didn't need a whole tub full of water. So that's another option. And even now at six months, we're still using a big baby bath. We haven't actually got her into the bath downstairs yet. Number five, frozen meals. So while you're pregnant, get busy cooking. We had 35 meals in the freezer. For at least the first six weeks, we didn't feel like cooking. So we'd eat frozen meals and meals that friends had given us rather than going out and buying takeaway. If we hadn't have had those frozen meals, then that's what we would have done. So it was a massive saving for us. And plus when you're pregnant, you're nesting anyway. So it's nice to kind of do a big cook up. Number six, gifts from others. So be specific. If they ask you what you want, then have a think about it and get something that's gonna be really useful. Um, one of the gifts that we got from a group of friends was the baby gym, which Sophie plays on the mat every single day with. And they also gave us the Sophie the Giraffe, which I knew we'd need, and a wrap that I wear her in. These are really helpful gifts and it saved us spending the money. Otherwise, if people aren't sure what to give you and you haven't suggested anything, then you'll just get a double up of things. You'll get heaps of baby wipes or heaps of the same bath toys, etc., etc. So I really recommend if your friends ask you what do you want, then let them know. Number seven, government pay. 
So it might be different in your country, but in Australia, the government gives you 18 weeks paid parental leave from work. And also for the carer who's still at work, um, Dave is entitled to two weeks paid parental leave that he can take off from work to spend time. So he's gonna be using that at Christmas time so we can have our first Christmas together. So do have a look into what your country offers you to assist you during this time. So number eight is rhyme time or free entertainment. So our local library offers a rhyme time once a week where for half an hour you go down there with your babies and you sing nursery rhymes and songs and read books and it's free and it's run by the library. So see what free activities are available for you in the local community. Yes, there's some fantastic ones that you need to pay for. However, there is a lot of free stuff that all you need to do is just have a little look and find. We've been to rhyme time now for about four months and we're probably gonna ease off again. And then when she's a little bit older, they have story time there, which is free as well. Number nine, borrow items from friends. So when Sophie was two weeks old, one of my friends lent us her baby swing. So we had another option for Sophie to sleep in. And then once we'd finished using it, a couple of months later, we've given it back. Another great thing about borrowing items from friends is, if you're not sure if your baby's gonna like it or not, you don't wanna spend the money for it then just sit in the corner. So we did that with a bumbo. I borrowed a bumbo from a friend. Sophie loved it. She really enjoyed sitting on the bench um, watching me cook. So I knew this was an item that we were gonna use quite a lot. So I went out and bought a secondhand one from a Facebook page. Number 10 is make your own cloth wipes. So I just used some flannelette material and made some cloth wipes. I'll leave a link to the video I did on that. We found making our own cloth wipes really handy and really good for her skin too. Just using plain water on the cloth wipe and just clearing away meant that Sophie wasn't getting a lot of chemicals on her bottom from other wipes. Alrighty guys, I hope you found these 10 tips helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've got some other tips, share it with other mums who watch this video as well. Alrighty guys, until next time, take care. Bye.